What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And it's a story going viral of a woman gunning her husband down on Facebook Live. We all seen that shit, too. You know, a lot of videos of that shit have been took down. But, you know, for that time period, people seen that that shit was very, very aggressive, in my opinion. Seemed like they were arguing, like they've been arguing the whole day. And somehow Facebook captured this shit. You know, they don't lie why this shit going on. Now she arguing with the man. She get a little physical, you know. Um, he tries to leave the apartment. And then the gunning happens. She guns him down. Blah! Kills him. Um, the whole world seen this shit. This shit looked very aggressive. Now I understand they got a history of past domestic violence and all kind of shit like that. But that video didn't deserve to have somebody laying down dead in it my opinion that shit just went a little too far i felt like mama could have calmed that shit down and all kind of shit you know i don't want to take up for a man beating on a woman or a woman beating on a man but i feel like it's kids around this and they home all kind of shit that was supposed to calm down when he died the mama said your daddy did told the kids that shit what the hell like i want to be honest with you guys we all witness evil on that camera you know that shit was very strong, you know. They got her arrested. Police showed up to that house right after it happened. She's sitting inside of a cell now, charged with murder. She's going to fight this case. Now, I understand people are going to say it's the history of domestic violence and beating and all kind of shit like that. And sometimes it's hard for a woman to walk away from that. I get that. But the gun to me and down, you know, in public and private and public or whatever the fuck is a little bit too much for us. Especially for the world to see that shit. I always felt like these live features on social media could turn a regular argument very dangerous because there's viewers watching this shit. Remember, it's bad enough when it's one person saying, ooh, instigating shit. Now you're on Facebook Live where it's a lot of people saying, ooh, you know? I always felt like these live features could turn somebody into a serial killer overnight, you know? Uh, give you a fan base, give an audience to watch this shit, you know? This was like a real life horror flick that we all watched, but instead of actors, it was real people. Somebody lost their life. I'm not sure if that man deserved to lose his life that day. You know, I don't know what went on in their past and what history they got, but we watched a murder in cold blood, in my opinion. This looked kind of dangerous. Uh, a lot of people going to have arguments about this, you know. It's hard for a woman to walk away from a man. That man used to put knuckles on her, so she did what she had to do. I get it. Uh, but I still feel a little weird about, you know, that man being gunned down. Now she's going to have to fight for her life. I find this very crazy. You know, I'm going to hold my opinions a little bit until I get more information about this. Because this is just breaking around the world. That's why I want to ask y'all the question. If you've seen this video, be honest with me. Was that a cold-blooded murder or was that self-defense? I want to know what y'all think. Leave a comment. It's the only truth of the street reporter.